Hey everybody, happy Sunday. It's like 1235 here. I hope you guys had a great weekend, great Thanksgiving, and hope everybody stayed safe, and I hope you all enjoyed each other's company, and however you did it, if you did the virtual Thanksgiving, and whatever your Thanksgiving was, I hope it was it was a, a nice blessed Thanksgiving. So, okay, everybody, we're here for prayer time Sunday. And um, you leave your prayer request below. Let me know how you're doing, how God's working in your life and what you see. And let me know your, your miracles or your everyday blessings. I'd love to hear, you know, what, what God's doing in your life. So, and how things are going. So stop by, say hi, leave a prayer request, pray for somebody, you know, all, you know, when you're here, keep, you know, keep everybody in prayer that you see that, that, you know, that writes something, you know, something down or that leaves a comment. Keep me and my family in prayers and um, we'll start showing our cards. I know I have another box I have to go through because these are some of these I know I must be repeating. But don't forget to pray for someone in your hair. So. Okay. cold here. Well, it, it was not too bad. It was 50, but we're going to be in the 30s next week. So we had, I was up at 6 a.m. and seeing our first snowfall the other day. It was really pretty. It was coming down really hard, but it wasn't sticking. No. I hope everybody's getting well. Stacy, I hope your ankle is going to heal quickly. And Lisa, I, I hope you're doing okay. I hope the antibiotics are working for you. Lisa Smith had an abscess in her tooth and can't get to the dentist till next Thursday. Uh, there's no reason why a dentist shouldn't come in in an emergency, especially for an abscess. So I, I pray to God the antibiotics are helping her and that she's staying without pain until she can get there. Uh, let us know how you're doing, Lisa. Hi, Rosa, how you're doing? Shelby, she stops by. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, I'm trying to remember <laughs> everybody who stopped by, but I have a select few of you who are always here that stop by. So, um, oh, and Rita, I hope you're doing good too. Um, okay, everybody, stay safe, and um, I hope everybody has a, has a good uh, good Sunday, and uh, I hope everybody, if they, you know, if they're going to, um, you know, do anything, that you're wearing your mask, and you know, your social distancing. I've had too many close calls with people already, you know, at and around me that have been exposed to somebody and then came around me. And, you know, I had an eye doctor's appointment. I was supposed to have it today. Um, but, uh, you know, I decided to that I don't know. I know they all wear the masks in there and all that. And, you know, when, you're, when you have the eye doctor, though, there's no guarantee that masks are going to keep you safe, 100%. No, uh, you know, that, that, that something. But, the, you know, the eye doctor, when he's examined, at least to me, he, he comes right up to my face, you know, and he has to look in my eyes and check those nerves behind the the, ret, the retina, the little the whatever, the you know, that little dark, the dark pupil. He goes and looks behind there and, you know, the, right in your face and, Mask or not, I just thought about it and I go, I know I'll have one on. I'm sure he'll have one on. 
But I, I just didn't feel comfortable with that. And then trying on glasses. I don't know how many people, you know, you might want to try on 10 pair of glasses. And I'm sure how many other people have been there trying them on. And are they cleaning them after every time, you know, somebody's trying them on? You know, it's touching my face. And I just decided until these numbers go down, which should hopefully be by spring, you know, I mean, I'm, I was just going for glasses. I have cataracts now. I'm the beginnings of them, so I'm not worried. Otherwise, I, I probably would be in there if it was or if it getting to that point progressing. Well, if it gets to that point progressing, I have to have surgery. But he said I was a long ways away from surgery on that. So I, I'm, you know, thought, well, I, I could live with the glasses I have. They're, I'm seeing fine out of them. You know, a few more months won't make a difference. So, you know, I, as long as I got my glasses and, and, you know, I think I have like a two pair I can use that, you know, that I'm, I can see fine out of. So it didn't seem worth it to me. So I don't know if I'm getting over paranoid or not, but, you know, if you're going to get close to my face, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want any, anybody getting that close to me with, with or without a mask right now. So I could see in a dental emergency. Yeah. You know, but, but, you know, I mean, um, I wasn't so worried my dentist because I, I, I was there after my teeth were pulled and, uh, but he, he had masks and the shields and what it, uh, you know, and he wasn't right at my face, right in my face. So whole, whole big difference. So, but okay, everybody, enough about that. Take care. Love you guys. God bless. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.